Today, we're going to take a closer look at the training bike of top pro Mikel Landermian and now riding for Team Movistar. Now, Mikhail rode for Team Sky for the past two years, and as such, in transferring over to Team Movistar, he's had to make quite a few changes in terms of his equipment. Uh, most notable, of course, is the fact that he's gone from Pinarello over to Canyon. Uh, as you can see, he's gone for their climbing model, which is the ultimate CF SLX, and he's gone for a size extra small in this particular frame set. Uh, he has also had to change the group set over from Shimano to Campagnolo. Uh, of course, he's got the top of the range super record EPS group set uh, sitting on this bike here as he does on his race bikes as well. Uh, he's also had to change the pedals over from Shimano to Look. We've got the Kio Blade Carbons down here now and he's also changed his shoes as well this year going over from City to Physique and of course he's using the special edition Mobistar ones, the R1 Infinitos. So let's take a closer look at some of the other aspects of this bike because I particularly enjoy looking at pro riders training bikes to see what equipment that they choose to use and there's some really interesting pieces on this one. Uh, firstly, as you can see, the wheels, well I'm not going to describe them as bog standard because they're certainly not extremely cheap and they're really good wheels, but as you can see, fairly standard box section aluminium rims. Uh, they too come from Campagnolo and they are the Eris not sure if I've pronounced that right, E-U-R-U-S. Uh, they come in at just under 1,500 grams for the pair. And you'll often see that pro riders in training use fairly standard aluminium wheels because they can be slightly more robust, easier to change inner tubes, and they just don't need to be aero and particularly fast in training when they're just trying to put out a certain amount of power. Uh, but it is in contrast to the two canyons that we looked at from the Canyon Strand women's team. Uh, both Hannah Barnes and Alexis Ryan were using the Zip carbon wheel wheels on their respective bikes. Uh, also an interesting part of the wheels here is what's on them. Uh, the team is sponsored by Continental Tires. He's got the Grand Prix tires on this bike, but they're in a size 23 millimeter, which is quite traditional and almost getting old school these days. Uh, even in training, you will see riders often opting for more comfort with 25, sometimes even 28 millimeter tires. Uh, but he obviously prefers the feel of the narrow ones and they're pumped up pretty hard too. One more change that he's made since 2017 at Team Sky is with his saddle. It is still provided by Physique, uh, who sponsors Team Sky, but also Team Mobistar, but it's the model which he's changed. Last year, he was on the Antares Versus. This year, he's on the R1 Open, which is one of their new models with the small cutout just down the middle here. Uh, another aspect of this training bike, which you can't see unless you go around the other side of it, is the fact that he has got his mini pump located on the frame. Uh, no spares on here. Uh, I'm not sure whether he uses them in his back pocket or whether he adds a saddle bag or perhaps some in the bottle, uh, but I'm kind of have the privilege of finding out later because I'm going out for a training ride with him. And yes, that was me showing off. Here's the answer to where he stores his spares when he's out riding. He's got a brand new silk uh, kind of tool wrap really where he's got a mini tool and also a couple of spare inner tubes uh, and it goes onto the saddle using this boa dial, which is pretty cool. As well as providing the frame in the forks, Canyon have also done some of the finishing kit in terms of the seat post here, which is the S13 model. He's running a setback uh, of between 15 and 35 millimetres on this particular one. Uh, up at the front there, we have the V13 stem. Uh, he's running an 11 centimetre stem at a six degree angle. And the H32 bars. Uh, now those he's running in a 42 centimetre width, which is measured from centre to centre. He's got a 70 millimetre reach on those and then the drop is 130 millimetres. And on them, we have the Lizard Skins bar tape in a Mobistar blue, which I really like the look of. Let's look a little bit more at that super record EPS group set. He's not running the new 12 speed one on his training bike just yet, but possibly could be uh, in the not too distant future. Uh, he's running an 11 up through to 29 tooth cassette and then the chain rings there are 39 by 53 standard for pro riders. Now, as you probably know, the Basque Country is notorious for some super steep climbs, but he obviously as one of the best climbers in the world, uh, is quite happy with the 39 by 29 top gear ratio. Uh, the group set runs, of course, from the shifters and brake levers at the front uh, through to the calipers here. Uh, the cassette, as just mentioned, the rear mech, the front mech and the chain rings, as well as the cranks, which are size 170 millimeter. Uh, but on the cranks, 
is that power to max NG power meter, which is the choice of quite a few of the pro teams these days. Uh, super accurate, plus or minus 1%, so perfect for the training, etc. that the pro riders do. And finally, up there on the front, his head unit of choice is a Garmin 810, uh, which is a little bit interesting because the Mobistar squad all appear to be using the 1030 at races this year, but he's presumably uh, got more, more used to the 810 from his time training on it and racing with it at Team Sky. Now I've done some measurements of the bike and his saddle height from the centre here to roughly where he sits is in the region of 71.5 centimetres whilst the reach from the tip of the saddle to the centre of the bars is around about 53 centimetres. Uh, going to weigh it in just a few moments but one more thing of note I think is just how clean it is. You don't always get that with pro riders especially in the olden days but obviously being pro these days is as much about making your equipment look good when people like us come along as there and the grass here it's just from where we wheeled it over. It was immaculate when we got it. Right, let's do the weight. So, 7.31 kilograms without bottles, but with the mini pump here and the Garmin head unit. So plus the fact that we've got aluminium wheels, I would say that is very respectable indeed. I haven't yet mentioned how slammed his stem is here at the front. As you can see, no space at all between the stem and the frame itself. Just measured it from the axle here up through to the handlebars, and that comes in at 50 centimetres from centre to centre. I also haven't yet mentioned the bottle cages and the bottles themselves. Both come from Elite, and the cages are the Cannibal model. Well, that is, I think, a very nice looking bike. I do particularly like the Mobistar team colours this year. I hope you do too. If you have done, please give it a thumbs up just down below this video. I need to go and get changed and ready for a good kicking with Mikel Lander, although he doesn't know what bike I'm using yet, so stay tuned for that video if you haven't seen it already. Uh, in the meantime, you might want to check out the GCN Tech Show where we ask the question, do the pros really use the best bikes in the world? You can find that just down here somewhere. <laughs>